Hello, my name is Juan Manuel Bolivar from the Complutense University of Madrid. I welcome you to the lectures Advanced Characterization of Mobilized Biocatalysts on the France module Design of Heterogeneous Catalysts. In this lecture, we're going to deepen into the characterization of immobilized enzymes. From a classic perspective, there are mainly three aspects that are measured when immobilized enzymes is characterized. One, it is the activity. Second, is the kinetics of the immobilized enzyme. And third, it is the stability. However, any functional parameter of the immobilized enzymes is going to be the result of a complex interplay of different underlying uh, phenomena. For example, if we think in terms of activity of the mobilized enzymes and the catalytic uh, effectiveness, there are different causes uh, behind that are determining a specific number. These uh, uh, different causes can be grouped mainly in two uh, groups. One, it is the catalytic microenvironment. So the specific conditions, subject concentration, product concentration, as the value of any intensive variable at a specific location where the enzyme is immobilized. This is also can be described as the consequences of the mass transfer resistances and partition effects. The second group, it is the structure of the immobilized uh, enzymes. So what it is also called is the consequences of immobilization or the conformational changes of the structure of enzyme upon immobilization. If we think that we have a broad battery of different methodologies to immobilize an enzymes, and the combination of different materials, the different chemistry of immobilization are going to uh, lead to different catalytic properties, and behind that catalytic properties is always the interplay of the uh, in internal microenvironment and the structure of the immobilized enzyme. So any advance in the characterization of the mobilized uh, enzymes as heterogeneous biocatalysts should uh, deepen and focus on how the protein structure is affected and how is this uh, intraparticle environment. Let's start with the structure of the mobilized enzymes to try to identify the elementary aspect that could be very interesting to be understood in a more uh, clear and, uh, manner. One, it is the enzyme distribution, so where the enzyme is located in a porous particle. Second will be the uh, active site uh, orientation. And third, how is the specific structure of the mobilized enzyme at the interface uh, with uh, the solid uh, surface where this enzyme it is uh, bound? If we go uh, deep into this elementary uh, aspect of the, of the structure, would be very interesting to be able to, to measure, to, to visualize how is the specific distortion of the secondary and tertiary structure of the mobilized enzyme. Could be very interesting to, to measure or visualize if there are protein protein interaction that could be affecting to the catalytic performance. And in the case of a reversible immobilization, could be very interesting to to quantify this phenomena of the absorption, the absorption of the that the protein is, uh, is having with the solid surface, and if there is any surface diffusion or uh, 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 no, molecular walking on the surface of the uh, the uh, carrier where the enzyme it is uh, immobilized. There are different methodologies that can be can be applied to our more or less really classic, like the active site iteration, and second, uh, uh, limited uh, proteolysis and further analysis of the peptides released from the native protein. This could give some information about the amount of uh, the uh, molecules of the enzyme that are active or at least able to interact with uh, uh, an inhibitor. And uh, this second uh, uh, technique is giving some idea about the amino acids that are involved in the immobilization. However, the third uh, uh, 
type of metrology that is very useful and is having an increased uh, adoption by the community are biophysical uh, methods. You can find uh, uh, more uh, detailed review of the literature of these different techniques in recent uh, reviews. In this uh, lecture, I will call your attention to the fact that you will find in literature uh, different uh, methods that are applied. And uh, each method has a possibility to provide uh, new evidences supporting the different elementary aspects of the structure of the mobilized sensor. So one methodology that is widely applies the confocal laser scanning microscopy is very useful to provide uh, uh, clear evidences of the protein distribution within pulse particle. And then there's an increasing broad battery of different uh, techniques providing information about the distortion of secondary and tertiary structure. But it is a very uh, important when we uh, are trying to understand the, the input of these techniques are uh, uh, giving us from the point of view of the performance of the mobilized enzyme. It is to uh, think about that uh, the gain of new evidences of uh, microscopic effects of the mobilization affecting the structure will be really useful. It is helping the enzyme immobilization designer to take better decisions about the enzyme design, the chemistry of immobilization, the uh, characteristic of the, of the materials to have better functional properties like uh, amount of protein is immobilized, activity, stability, selectivity, so on and so forth. The second uh, group of uh, reasons that are affecting the performance of immobilized enzymes is the internal microenvironment environment uh, where the enzyme it is uh, immobilized. This a classic approach uh, for that, uh, based on the mass transfer resistances uh, affecting the performance of the mobilized sensor. So there are different uh, uh, experimental uh, designs, like to measure the properties of the, of the catalyst upon the variation, systematic uh, variation of uh, uh, key uh, uh, design uh, variables, clothing, particle size, different materials. It's possible to calculate different uh, dimensions and numbers informing about the possibility of diffusional control in the, uh, the performance of the mobilized enzyme. And of course, it's possible to perform kinetic modeling coupled to the transport uh, equations. However, this classic approach, usually it is based on measurement of the information that we have at the liquid phase. Any uh, advanced methodology to try to provide a more clear uh, insight of the performance of the mobilized enzyme should be very useful to have a, a direct measurement of the substrate and product concentration gradients, a direct measure of the internal pH, and uh, solvent partition efforts in the case that there is a solvent uh, used in a facility. There are two main possibilities to, to approach that. One is if the substrate and product are luminescent, they can be directly measured and quantified with fluorescent microscope. If uh, the substrate, the product, the intensive variable is aimed to be measured is not the fluorescent, there's a second possibility that it is to make the material, the carrier material, sensitive to the property that is aimed to be to be measured. In this uh, case, the, the carrier material has a double function. On one hand, it is the carrier of the, of the enzyme treated for the mobilization or for the finding properties of the mobilized enzyme. And second, now this material is going to be uh, modified with a luminescence dye that is sensitive to the property that is aimed to be measured. Now the final uh, particle is contained both the mobilized enzyme and this luminescence dye and the phosphorescent or fluorescent properties of this uh, catalyst are going to give us 
directly information about the intraparticle condition that we have. You can uh, have a deeper look in these methodologies at the provided uh, references and literature. Again, the key thought about how useful are these methodologies is if new acquired evidences of this intraparticle environment are helpful and useful for the enzyme immobilization designer to take better decisions to a level of enzyme, chemistry of immobilization, or carrier material uh, properties to be able to design biocatalysts with a better properties, activity, stability, selectivity, and so on. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you.